the Lynx, a 3D printed Nerf Blaster designed by Orion Blasters and printed out by Silver Fox Industries. And there's no way I can do this video without just gushing about this thing because it's probably my favorite Springer primary in the entire hobby. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. That's not even a high shot. But of course, it does this. Oh boy! So full disclosure, this was sent to me, I guess in collaboration between Orion Blasters and Silver Fox Industries. Silver Fox Industries, of course, a friend of mine. And this was given to me completely free of charge and customized to my liking. But if you couldn't tell by the opening, this thing is already amazing enough. And I'm just gonna go through all the reasons why. This should be one of the easiest videos for me to do ever. The Lynx, or the Lynx 2 in this case, is a bullpup springer blaster pump action and it's there's basically nothing here that is fat this entire blaster is streamlined to the maximum it is beautiful it's got everything you pretty much need it's a bullpup it's got a mag release there's actually two versions of a mag release for this there's actually the standard one right here there's also a bar that you can get that pushes right into the original mag release that you could use your thumb with. Your mileage will vary on that one though, because I found it extremely uncomfortable because I like to choke up on my grips and that definitely got in the way for me, but it's an optional part that you can very easily remove when you don't want it. It's got Picatinny rail. It's got a scar barrel on it. It's got Picatinny rail for the pump grip, which I have a standard worker angled front grip on it right now, which is extremely comfortable. The grip is absolutely awesome. It is a very simple streamlined design from beginning to end. You can pretty much count the amount of 3D printed pieces you see right here on both your hands. It is extremely well done in its design, both from a printed standpoint and the hardware required to build it. Which means if you do wanna buy a hardware kit from either Orion Blasters or Silver Fox Industries, it would be incredibly simple to print this blaster out. That being said, and I know this is not true for just mine, the print quality I have gotten from Silver Fox Industries is second to none. It is absolutely incredible. I would dub it flawless. I know these aren't even finished parts or anything like that either. These are straight off the printer because there's still little tiny hairs of 3D printed PLA all over the place on it, which is perfect because that lets me know their printers are dialed in to the max. And I really got to hand it to Ryan on this one because I didn't really know what kind of color scheme I wanted. I just kind of wanted him to burn through whatever filament he already had on site. And he went with one themed after Common Rider builds rabbit rabbit form. And then Jesse went the extra mile of filling in the Wall Combat 7 custom emblazoned logo with gold ink pen, which is absolutely fantastic. So obviously if you don't want to build one yourself, buying a 3D printed fully assembled one from Silver Fox Industries is an excellent idea. And this is using Silver Fox Industries' own K25 colored spring or Magic K25, which works extremely well. In the Lynx specifically, it is a little bit crunchy. I think you can kind of hear that, but it's really not bad at all. The priming weight is extremely light for hitting 200 plus FPS. Now this unit right here, the maximum I've gotten is 213. Brett's on the other hand, and he'll have a video up on his soon, hits 230, 230 plus, slam fire, magazine fed, in a package this 
compact. Now, many of you are probably familiar with the Talon Claw, which is a baby version of the Caliburn. Here's the Talon Claw, and here's the Lynx. And if you ignore the Scar Barrel, they are essentially the same size. But one of these is Bullpup, while the Talon Claw actually has a pull-out stock that you can adjust using the screws on the side. And honestly, I still love the Talon Claw, but now that I've had my hands on the Lynx, it's kind of like no brainer to me. This is a heck of a lot more comfortable and usable than this. Simple is good and the grip on the Lynx is one of the best parts. It's incredibly ergonomic. And that matters when you're using a custom blaster like this that is a war worthy primary, a competitive grade primary at that. The Lynx is incredible. Slime fire. That's, that's the main draw for me. It has slam fire. I don't know what black magic has been done to get a bullpup blaster with really no fat back here. I'm still perplexed how this thing works, but it also has slam fire. Obviously it's a pump action like any other blaster. So you prime it back. I have plenty of room behind my thumb. I don't have to worry about hitting this edge or anything with the pump grip. And you can use whatever Picatinny pump grip you'd like. You do not have to prime it to remove the magazine or load the magazine, which is really cool. But if you hold down the trigger, notice it's primed. It's not doing anything. If I hold down the trigger and push the grip forward, it fires when the grip hits all the way to the front. And that is mind blowing to me. The practical application of something like this is you have an extremely accurate pump action blaster that you could already fire off extremely quickly, but then you can slam fire if you do not need to aim all that well, you just need to put foam down range. And this right here is the strongest slam fire blaster I have ever gotten my hands on. Most of the time when you work with a slam fire blaster, like let's say the Adventure Force Villainator, a really good blaster at $20, but modifying that thing, not only is it really kind of difficult to get a whole lot more performance out of the Villainator, but you're pretty much going to completely scrap any idea of having slam fire out of that because the mechanisms inside just are not strong enough to handle pressure from a better spring load. And it's pretty much maxed out from the factory. This... Well, funny enough, it's very controllable slam fire in its 200 FPS configuration right here. But of course you can tone that down. You can put in a much lighter spring and get 130, 150 buttery light pump action goodness out of something like this. My gosh, I, mm, it's so good. Uh, are you worried about how hard it might be to swap out springs or something like that in this blaster? Don't be. It is stupidly simple because the main components of the blaster, it's fine, is all pinned together. So it's actually stupidly simple to reach every single thing in the Orion Blaster's links and change it out as you see fit. And it's good to go. There's another pin up here for reaching all the stuff up here, like changing out barrels and everything like that. It's so well designed. And to make sure I actually loved it as much as I say I do, I actually took it to a little miniature war to test out how it feels on the field. And it is mind-blowingly awesome. The scar barrel at the front of the Lynx is a custom design. It's the one originally designed by Than, but customized for the Lynx barrel by Orion Blasters themselves. It is laser beam accurate. And because it's such a lightweight prime and it's really ergonomic and it has the stock built in, this blaster feels incredible to use because you're pretty much going to hit stuff every single time. Your aim actually matters with the Lynx. But then when you need to, you can just dump off rounds as fast as possible. At long range with a heavy spring load, yes, slam fire is not going to be very accurate whatsoever, and it's really good for just suppressive fire. Or of course, close range where accuracy doesn't really matter, which means this blaster covers both worlds, long range poking and close range mag dumping. And did I mention it's a bullpup? That means that the effective length of the blaster sticking out past your arm is far less than any other blaster, especially with that kind of barrel configuration. If you want to slap this long of a barrel on another blaster, it's going to be much much longer and that is going to inhibit your ability to peek around corners and move about the field not so much with the links it's pretty much perfect and the trigger is extremely comfortable and light it feels amazing when you pull the trigger on the links which when you're making long range shots is incredibly important 
One small modification that I made to my Lynx after I got it was I felt like the mag release was a little too easy to engage, and I found myself sometimes dropping mags out the back. I'm not exactly sure what I was doing wrong, but it did happen a few times. I just put in a stronger spring, and it feels incredible to me. That obviously will slow down my reload somewhat, and I don't have the bar right here that lets me drop a mag with my thumb, but if you're an extremely competitive person and you realize you want that one-handed reload, the Lynx is the blaster that's gonna do it for you. Because again, you could just reach up with your thumb, push back the mag release, and the mag drops free, no issue whatsoever. So you can completely reload one-handed, and it has a flared mag well that makes it extremely easy to guide a magazine in. Plus, the blaster does not have to be primed to do such things. Really, my only complaint is the trigger guard. It's loose. They all are. That's just a thing with the Lynx design, so I find that kind of awkward, and it's just kind of a little bit annoying, especially when I tend to rest my finger on it a lot. It's, uh, it's not a big deal, though. It's completely nonsense. It's just a minor annoyance. And, of course, plenty of Picatinny rail up at the front of the blaster for you to add on whatever attachments that you fancy which is a very good idea for something that is so incredibly accurate. This is a knockoff Trigicon SRS, and it works extremely well with this blaster. Although it is a bit big, it's actually a little too big for this kind of design. You'd honestly want something a lot smaller. And there are 3D printed sling points that look pretty stout on the links. There's one on either side up at the front, and of course, down at the back, there's some thick printed loops as well, which is perfect for left or right-handed users. And I'm not trying to dump all over the caliber and the talon cloth. You like those platforms because of their sheer amount of customizability. Those are amazing blasters, and something like this probably wouldn't have existed without the talon cloth or the caliber existing. But right now, I'm having a hard time rationalizing ever touching my talon cloth again. And if you want to get your own, again, Silver Fox Industries has you covered. They sell not only 3D printed kits, they also sell hardware kits, and they also sell fully assembled blasters. They're actually out of stock right now, but they should have stock coming in the next couple of days. So you might want to pay attention to Silver Fox Industries. I will have a link down below. And hey, while you're down there and that, checking out links in the description and whatnot, you should totally check out our anime Nexus Pro shirt. Actually, that is something I should talk about. Why would you pick up something like this? Obviously, this thing costs a lot more than a Nexus Pro, but it obviously does a whole lot more as well. But it's kind of the difference of having something like a Honda Civic or an Aston Martin. Sure, Honda Civic works perfectly fine for pretty much everything you want to use it for. But if you want all the excess and look cool while doing it, then you'll pay the money and that's where something like this comes in. The Nexus Pro isn't a bullpup. The Nexus Pro doesn't have slam fire. The Nexus Pro is much, much bigger than this. You'd have to put time and energy into the Nexus Pro to get it to be as accurate or as powerful. And normally you talk about how easy the Nexus Pro is to upgrade, but this is also incredibly simple. In fact, it's very simple even compared to something like the Sita. I... I seriously can't foam at the mouth enough about it. this. This whole entire video doesn't make sense. I don't even know how I'm going to edit together this thing. All I need to tell you is that I love the links. I think it's worth every single penny and more. And if you're any kind of competitive nerfer, this will give you a distinct advantage on multiple different fronts. And I'm sure whatever small issues that somebody else may have that's not me, maybe the stock isn't big enough for you, I could see that being something. Maybe the grip isn't quite to your liking. I'm sure there will be customized pieces in the future because, of course, it is 3D printed. Oh, still got shots left. There we go. I love it. The Lynx by Orion Blasters, and again, printed out and given to me by Silver Fox Industries. Links to everything down in the description below. I'm Walcom S7. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much to Silver Fox Industries for hooking me up with one of these. I don't know if I would have gotten one this soon had it been. I would have had to have gotten my hands on it because this thing is just insane. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different video. And you make sure you get subscribed because I have a lot more cool stuff to show off and not enough time in the world to make videos on it. Happily! <laughs> Did you see that? He's like, okay, rock me!
happily. Boom.